This is Musselburgh, and this is us. Well, actually, it's Long Lindry Beach, but it's a place we spent a lot of time since we moved to Musselburgh from Leith four years ago. When we moved, our eldest was eight months old. Now he's an energetic, kind, caring, almost five-year-old who just started school in August. Our youngest came along in 2021 and is an absolute riot into everything and super determined. We've loved our life here in Musselburgh and could easily have stayed, especially since our boys are so settled, but we wanted something a bit more. And so we're packing up and moving to the Isle of Skye. We have just taken a walk to one of our favorite spots. Um, that we discovered near our house during the pandemic when we couldn't go anywhere or do anything. So it's just a bunch of fields, but it's only about five or ten minutes from our house um, in Musselburgh, and it means that we could like feel like we would get out in the country uh, when we weren't allowed to go anywhere. So it's also where the trains run through. Um, from Edinburgh. So we used to come up here and show the boys the trains, especially our eldest when he was only about two at the time. So we thought we would come up here. It's four days until we leave. It's a bit weird to think like little things like this are like our norm at the moment or have been, although we've not been here for a while. But pretty soon we'll be doing like finding other places or new places in the sky that we can go with the boys and explore and they'll become our new normal places. I'm currently chasing our two-year-old who keeps, is now running off down the path. Come on! It feels really weird at the moment because we haven't done any packing at all and it's because we've paid the movers to pack for us, um, which is great because you know it will take them like far less time than it will take us however that does mean that we've not really done anything like we've gone through stuff and cleared things out but we haven't actually like packed anything and I'm like we're moving in four days and we've packed nothing it feels really strange so weird <laughs> Is nine o'clock on the night before packing day as I'm calling it uh, and I've just got back from Tesco's um, <laughs> pretty much since I moved back to the UK a few years ago we've lived really close to like a massive Tesco's um, and I just it's been so helpful having the boys and being able to go there and get like clothes and like home stuff and toys and obviously groceries um but yeah i was like oh i've seen a few things and i just want to buy them before we go because we're obviously not going to have a massive tesco's near us which sounds ridiculous even as i say it but anyway that's what i've been doing so yeah um and now i'm gonna go in and go to bed and wake up tomorrow and yeah clean the house as the movers pack for us is the plan We'll see how it goes. Packing has begun. <sighs> I tied my hair up this morning, so it looks ridiculous. <laughs> um, so, it's so weird to have people just like packing all of our stuff. Um, it's Monday, and I'm going to tie my hair up. <laughs> it's Monday. And the packers are here and they are packing. Um, they are packing all that stuff but I've been like running around and trying to put aside all the things that we need to keep uh, because we're not going to see anything until Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So it's quite an extensive, prolonged, well it's not that long. Anyway, but it's a few days of a move. It's not like a normal move where it's all on the same day. So we've had to like put aside stuff that we need tonight and then stuff that we're going to need um for the next few days so tonight we stay in the house tomorrow they come load up the lorry truck or whatever it's called and um and then once i've done that we can drive away uh up to sky and then 
they don't drive till the next day so they don't unload till the day after that um because i guess working hours and things like that um so yeah it's so weird <laughs> So this is the house packed up in just one day. I highly recommend if you're doing a big move that you pay for packing. It wasn't a huge cost on top of the move and it reduced so much stress for us. After this, it was off to pick the boys up and have a last takeaway tea from our favourite chippy in Musselburgh. We'll definitely miss the Edinburgh salt and sauce combo. If you know, you know. Good morning. It's moving day. So weird. Still feels weird. But here we are. Um, in my pyjamas. But getting ready very soon. Because the moving truck is going to be on its way. And the boys are super excited about moving truck. Not sure how long that will last. But hopefully we can keep them entertained for most of the day. With the truck. And then we'll be on our way. And driving to Sky tonight. Well... The truck excitement didn't last too long, unfortunately, but our movers were amazing and very used to kids. They also worked pretty quickly, and before we knew it, most of the stuff was packed up in the truck. What yeah. do you have to say? I have to say, yeah. I've been up since four o'clock this morning with various children, including the one that's just come in, and I'm sat next to two pumpkins. <laughs> I know. Meanwhile, I was also doing a lot of cleaning surely the worst part of moving house. Since all of our stuff was going, we planned to just do a late drive up to family and Sky, rather than finding somewhere to stay nearby. Well, we're almost there. Um, I've just been vacuuming the upstairs and I'm about to mop the floors and then the upstairs is all done. Um, pretty much everything's gone downstairs, just needs to do the same down there. I'm just sitting where my bed used to be in our room. <laughs> so weird. Um, I keep saying that, but honestly it is. Uh, so, yeah. It's about, I think it's about 3 o'clock. So hopefully we'll be on the road right in time for peak hour traffic. Um, but that's okay. The plan is to drive, get some tea somewhere on the way, and then um, drive with the boys asleep. So we'll arrive later. Anyway, um, be in sky. Later tonight. You say bye, stuff. Bye. See you in sky. And with that, it was time to say goodbye to Musselburgh and Edinburgh and get on the road to our new home. It was raining and dark, but we were on our way. Before we knew it, we were crossing the bridge to Sky and starting our new adventure. <laughs>